Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today I will be taking you through our interview process. Okay, We have an interview process that each organization has to follow when employing candidates or clients or interviewing candidates and clients. I will just give you a brief description of what ours entails. Okay. Now if you have a look at our, I will go through the questions quite quickly with you. It's just a, a breakdown of what questions are usually asked in interviews when you go for that interview, okay? Common interview questions. The first one is something that's almost right out the box. It's the first question that any recruiter will ask you. It's what can you tell us about yourself? Quite common, quite common question. And there are two answers that we have inserted on there. The one is talk about yourself in the summary and avoid rambling on. And we also say you need to discuss your personality, ambitions, etc. Okay, then you have the question two, um, can you list your strengths? Okay. Under there, we've also got the two valid, uh, very, very um, simple answers that you could have as well. And third question, what weaknesses do you have? We all have weaknesses. It's not something that we're all proud of or what we're going to talk about but you should always have an answer to your recruiting in that case. When you come into the next question, it says, why should we consider hiring you? Recruiters love this question. I'm not sure why, <laughs> but as a recruitment firm ourselves, we love this question. It's just to get to know why you feel you are better than other candidates. Okay. Um, next question is, why are you leaving or have you left your current job? Um, that is, if you are still employed, um, it is a good question to ask, reason being there could be various reasons as to why you've left. And um, we just need clarity on that as well. So it's something that you also, it's good to advise, be honest and open and let your com the, the company know. Because what happens in most cases, you might lie in your interview and it does come up sooner or later. Um, and it's better to have be open before than when you're in the position and then it comes to light thereafter because you could be dismissed on on false, false grounding, etc. Okay. Next question is why? Um, sorry, how do you handle stress and pressure? Almost every position you apply for um, has stress and pressure, or that you're in has some sort of stress and pressure. So you can just be open with that as well, and and give them a current position or a previous position as an example um, when when you're under stress or or whether it's the beginning of the month or the month end, um, what type of, of what you have to go through to get your work done. Um, there's always stress in every position. You can't come across a position and tell me that you don't have stress because then it's not really a working environment. It's either financial stress or it is target stress or some sort of stress creeps in sooner or later. Okay, so just try and be honest and open with that as well. Okay, next question, where do you see yourself in five years from now? They might, your recruiter might not necessarily say five years, they'd say in the near future or in your career, they might use different terminology. Um, this is also something, it's just to see whether you've got motivation or challenges or whether you are a mot motivated individual and whether you want to succeed. Okay, it's trying to determine, it's a more of a personality trait where a recruiter will try and get to know you more by asking this question. It gives us a brief understanding of the candidate that we are interviewing. Okay, why do you want to work here? That's a question that you need to research so that when you go into the company, you, you need to know about the, the company that you're going into. So if you are are applying for an IT position or a financial position, or um, whether it's in the, the banking industry, etc., you need to know the company you are applying to. So when they do ask you that question, why do you want to work here? You already know the company background and what they're about, and you can speak on that as well. You could state that you like um, the, the, the services that they provide, or the atmosphere, or the type of environment they work in, or because they are friendly, uh, because they have um, challenges. Um, there's uh, 
etc. There's various, various types of reasons that you could state in that case um, for growth, uh, because you can. there's room for growth, etc. Various other options. So do research on the organization before you go in for your interview. It will help you quite substantially. Um, one of the other questions is, what is your salary expectation? Most companies will ask you this question. Reason being is, there's a certain salary that they have designated or, or, or budget that they've made for this position. And if you are higher than the budget, they would not be able to consider, unless it's negotiable. Um, if you are way over the budget, they might not consider you because they do not have the budget to, to uh, pay your salary that you are wanting. If you are very un low, very under the budget, then they might also not consider hiring you because then your experience differs. They it would be kind of skeptical as to why you're asking for such a low salary. So also do your market research with regards to the position you've applied for. So if you are wanting to be a financial manager, financial planner, um, a recruiter, etc., whatever the case may be, make sure you know what the market related salary is for that position. So when you walk in there and they ask you what is your salary or what is the expected salary, then you know more or less what in, what salary to provide with because you know the position you applied for and what the salary is related to that position. Okay. What motivates you? Oh, okay. This is quite an uh, honest question. It's something where you can be honest about it. Um, in some cases, people state that family motivates them, working environment motivates them, recognition motivates you, um, rewarding motivates you. Uh, there's various things you could state in what motivates you. Okay, so when you you can even state that the position needs to be challenging because it's motivation for you if, if you've got a challenging position, etc. So try to be quite honest with this question as it is also a, 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 something that a recruiter is looking at when they're trying to, to, to when they're looking at your personality, trying to, to figure out the type of candidate you are that, that's applying for the position. So try to be open and honest with that as well. What makes a good team player? Okay, this question, what makes a good team player? It's very difficult to answer this question if you are not a very good team player or if you prefer working independently and not in a team environment. But every company, sooner or later, you are in a team environment, whether you be on conference, whether you with your manager going for meetings, whether you are, are, are liaising with colleagues in the same group. There is a time in your career that you will be within a team environment. And then you can state points on that as well. So what makes you makes you a good team player? You could state that um, you, you enjoy liaising with your colleagues, passing through ideas, um, getting to know one another, um, sharing information, etc. There's there's quite a wide variety of, 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 of answers that you can have for this particular question. Okay. We'll move on to our next question and that is okay, the final and last question that usually all recruiters will ask you is if there is anything that you would like to ask them. And always have at least one question that you would you have in mind that you have for them. This should be prepared in advance so that you you know more or less what you will ask at the end of the interview. It's something that at almost guaranteed every interview, this will be a final question. What would you like to know? Or is there something that you need to ask me? Okay, so prepare yourself well for this. This is the only time that you will actually get to ask your recruiter anything. Um, about the position, about the company, about the salary, about um, um, how many candidates have applied for this position, or do you or how likely are you uh, to be shortlisted, etc. So think about, very carefully about the questions you'd like to ask your recruiter and have these planned ahead, so that as soon as it comes to the end of the interview, you have you do know more or less what you need to ask your recruiter about that specific position that you have applied for. Okay, um, and then last on our interview guide, we have behavioral interview questions. Um, those as well, it's, 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 some, it's um, your basic question is given a, an example of an occasion when you used logic to solve a problem. It's more of personality. It's, it's, 
at questions that may come up in your interview. However, we cannot guarantee that they will be there, but it's good to have answers for these questions as well, okay? Because these questions could fall in between your interview. It could come up. Um, so we've given you a list as well of interview questions that could come up in your interview. We can't say it will, but it's good to just have answers for these as well. We have not prepared you with answers for these because these are just, uh, it's, 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 norm, it's general knowledge. It's something that, that you need to be, honest about in your career when you answer these questions, okay? And then finally, um, we have interview dress code, okay? We have for, a, for, for the male and female, um, it's the way you should be dressed appropriately for your interview. If you walk in there with baggies and slacks and, and uh, your hair all messed up and um, a nose ring or whatever the case may be, it might not come across as very professional. Depending on the type of position you are applying for, you need to dress the code accordingly. Okay. Um, so bearing in mind the interview dress code, this will give you a proper understanding of how you should dress when you're going into an interview and the do's and don'ts for that interview. Okay. And one thing that I must stress to all candidates and clients is to pre please be prepared for every interview that you're attending. Make sure that you have, that you've done your research on the company that you're applying to, that you know everything there is to know about them, um, what the position's about, what the salary expectation is. Everything that you can, research. Research, research go into the internet, search the company's ins and outs, make sure that you know everything about the organization before you go in for that interview. Okay, if you can, find out who the, the recruiter will be, Perhaps do some research on the recruiter as well, so you know more or less who the person is. That's if you can um, get to know, because in some cases you might not necessarily know who the recruiter is. Uh, but in some companies you might find out who HR is and who will be interviewing you, etc. Um, so you know more or less the type of person that will be interviewing you and what type of questions, or what type of, you know how to, to present yourself to this person. Okay. And um, one other thing is don't ever be late for an interview. It's, 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 it's not something that comes across as very professional. Um, I think that you not going for the interview altogether is better than you, appear, than you walking into an interview late. Okay, because walking into an interview late, there and then already shows the type of person that you are. Not attending the interview at all. You won't get the position, but at least you didn't give them that. Um, you didn't present yourself or, or, or show them that, that, that you are a latecomer or this is what you'll be doing if you get got the position, etc. Okay. Rather not attend the interview if you're going to be late for your interview. Because I can guarantee that most of the time you will not be considered for that position because right there and then it shows the character that you have. Okay. And that is we have now come to the end of that interview guide um what i can tell you guys is if you are interested please uh, comment below and let me know and i will get that interview guide through to you um free of charge subscribe to my channel as well um, once you've done so let me know in the comments below and we'll have that that um, interview guide sent through to you as well um guys i hope this was a helpful video and yeah please subscribe for more um, will be uploading shortly. Thank you.